So we did a thing. What did <laughs> Amy's like, what did we do? <laughs> um, we got a waggle. We're going to install this thing and check it out and see how this works. This will monitor the temperature in the motorhome while we're gone, and on our phone we'll be able to tell what temperature it is in here, which is very important. So we're going to check it out. Okay. So this is the box it came in. It's about the size of my hand. It's very nice. And when I open it up, this is a little... This must hang on your door handle or something. It's a little, it's a little door hanger. And it's got the instructions, which are very simple. Keep your pets comfortable and safe, etc., etc. Here's all the instructions. I'm in the middle of doing this right now. Please love us. Please rate us on Amazon. Um, this is a monthly paid subscription thing, and we are going to look at that today as well. This is another sticker you can put out there. Looks like it sticks in a window like that. That says, Waggle Pet Temperature Monitor Installed. Okay, so here's what it looks like. There's the waggle. And it's on a little bracket. Now, you do have to charge it. I know this looks weird. I've got the toaster in the sink. <laughs> I've got nowhere else to put the thing. So just ignore that. Um, yeah, so it's got its own mounting bracket, and you have to charge it when you first get it. You have to power it, or charge it for like, it says to charge it for seven to eight hours, so I did that already. Um, and then I put it back in the box because it's been a couple days, and when I opened it for real, I wanted to be videoing to share with everybody. So we're going to put this on. That's the little device. In here, we've got, there's a little, probably that's a reset thing. I'm going to keep that. Um, comes with the cord to charge and the little block and then this thing this thing was in here this is a mystery I'm not really sure what this is we'll have to figure that out in a minute here all right that stuff's gonna stay in here for now and we're gonna see if we can get this thing mounted okay so here's the waggle and it's in its mounting bracket, so I'm going to take this little protective thing off. Wait, don't you usually leave those on? <laughs> I usually leave them on for the life of the product, but I'm not leaving that on. Um, so I've monkeyed with this a little bit to figure out the mounting bracket, and it only releases from the top. So wherever you decide to mount it, you have to leave enough room for your to get your finger up there and to tip this out. And it just comes out nice and simple like that. Um, if you look, we're gonna install this right here. And this is about halfway th in the middle of the height of the motor home. So if that makes sense, ceiling's about five foot, four or five foot up. Floor's about three foot down. And we're putting it in the middle because this is about where the puppy dog's heads are in the motorhome. And once I get out... dogs aren't that tall, just so you know. No, when they're laying down on the couches and stuff. <laughs> we do not have Great Danes. <laughs> so to, to test this, I wanted to show everybody. Press, press the top button, and it's going to just tip right out of there. And you'll have to do that in order to, to charge it. Although, I guess you don't have to do that to charge it. If you've, someone else has a different spot to mount it, you could just plug the charging cord in right yeah, underneath. Yeah, can we just plug it up enough so we can get the charging well, cord we in could. underneath? We could. We could put it here. We could put it there instead of here. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Or down a little bit. Then Right here. Oh, no, that's not very... No, that's that's not very OCD compliant. No, it's not. We, put it up we have bit. to be OCD compliant. Up. <laughs> There. Right there? Yeah. Okay. So the tops are even. we're going to peel this off. And the other thing I like about this is they've got their info on the side of this bracket in case you need to call or email them. So we're going to peel off the backing. And it's pretty cool because you don't have to 
drill holes or screw drive anything into drive. the motorhome. Do you want do you want it right here, Aim? Line taps lined up. Taps lined up. Taps lined up. Better make sure I get the taps lined up. That. Okay, it's on. I'm gonna push that on here. Make sure I've got it nice and sturdy. Maybe you should take it out of there while that thing cures. Yeah, so it's not heavy. I'll let that sit on there for a little while without the weight of the weight. 24 hours. 24 to 48 to 72. I would 24 hours. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So the next thing is you have to download their app. I'm going to show you this again. I'll get this back out. You can zoom in on it right here. So I already charged it. See, seven to eight hours. Install the app. And I have Android, so I just went to the Google Play Store and installed the app. This shows some of the features of it here. Do and they then, really need this to know this? Because if they get one, yeah. they're going to get the same thing. But now they know that what they're getting before they buy it. So now I'm just going to open the app and register it. And then I will report back to you guys. I'm gonna, I have to choose a subscription. I'll report back to you guys what we choose and if we like it or not. All right, I am on, um, this is my phone here. This is the Waggle app. I'm going to tap on that. Waggle. And it wants me to register a product. So we're going to do that. Only for new park registration. We're going to proceed. Yes, we're going to allow. What does this say? Scan QR code to register product. Oh, so you actually need this. Um, right here. This is one of the slips of paper inside the box. We're going to scan the QR code here. Let's see if it'll do it. Oh, it says tap to scan. Tap. Hmm. I guess I better fill in all this other information first. All right. So I'm going to do that here real quick. Okay, so I did get it registered, but you need to know something. The, the bottom of the box has all this information, which you actually don't, we don't need. And I thought it was this, it says scan QR code. You have to also enter your email and a password and all that stuff. But it says scan QR code, and then in tiny little writing it says available on the back of the product. The QR code that's on the back of this. And I'm covering it up because... This is unique, and yours will be unique to you. Once that is scanned in there, then the app suddenly registers and works, and it says it might take up to two hours to get the temperature uh, from the little app. I'll put it on there. 24 hours. You know, <laughs> you're going to wait 24 hours? All right, we're going to wait 24 hours to mount that. That's looking good, though, too. So I think we're in business. Um, I'll check in with it a little bit later and let you guys know. Okay, so we've got Waggle on the phone, and this is their little tutorial. So I'm going to tap next. We get to see the humidity, which is really cool. It's raining outside. That's why it's 50% humidity in here. So this is where you set a minimum and a maximum temperature. Um, I actually like this. They're, they're asking you to set that so that you get a text alert on your phone when it goes too low. I might make this a little bit higher. Can I change it? Well, I'll change it in a minute. Got it. All right, so here's what it looks like. Lila and Gracie, those are the two puppies. Got the battery life right here. And you want the little doggy icon to be in the green. That's, that's the healthy, um, considered healthy area where they're safe. Red, it's getting warm, and blue, it's getting a little cold. Heat index, humidity, really nice. Here are these. I'm going to make this one a little bit higher. I think I'm just going to make it 50 degrees. Well, I'll make it like 52. 
and it's going to let me know if it gets down to 52. Successfully changed. Um, how long our subscription is. And then it's got some cool stuff along the bottom. Different screens you can go through to see everything. Oh yeah, we're not doing the vet thing. Um, all the settings. You can go through and, and check everything. Yep, I got that. It's running this through me because I just opened this app. All right. We'll go back to the safety, which is right there. But also, oh yeah, I already told you that. So that's Waggle. It is mounted. It's working beautifully. And we are loving it. In fact, we've got a charging cord right here. It's a little messy at the moment, but you pull that down and it plugs in right underneath. And the Waggle can stay right there uh, until... Uh, you and you have to recharge it. Just plug it in right there, and you don't even have to remove anything. Definitely worth it. While we're looking at phones, I wanted to show you what I've done. I've created a little group called RV on my phone, and in there are most of my apps, not all of them, but most of them, that pertain to us when we are on the road. So Hammer's a really nice uh, navigation. Very good for big big rigs. I exit tells you what's coming up if you're on a major highway in the U.S. These two right here, Park for Night, RV Parky, they um, are user-filled uh, apps that describe where you can stay wherever you are, uh, where you can stay for free. Google Earth, very valuable. If you have room on your phone, get Google Earth. This will give you an overview of your destination with the real terrain using satellite imagery so you know your ins and your outs before you even leave where you're at so you know that it's safe to go where you're going and you won't get stuck in a dead-end road or in a middle of a dirt road neighborhood like has happened to us actually truck stops these two right here very good to have on hand also if you see the word service that's key if you happen to break down on the road these two apps will help you locate mobile techs that can come out and help save the day there's a couple others here that are obvious, and then we've got the waggle. So that is a pretty uh, quick little review of a neat way to handle all of your RV apps. Yes, you both have to stay here for a few minutes. Aren't you cute? Hey, well, as you can see, it's a really sunny day. I'm going to turn around this way. There's Journey. Um, dogs have been inside for a few hours, and fortunately... We've been able to use the waggle to monitor everything. So we did not run the generator. We didn't run the AC. It's a little cooler of a day. Um, and look at that. Nice temperate 75.81. That's livable, don't you think? I think that's all right. That's safe. So thanks so much for watching our waggle video. Share it with your friends. Um, get the waggle. Um, I'll probably put a link in the description of this video so you can click it and go right over to Waggle and check it out for yourself. Um, I have no idea if I get any referral with the link. I just want you guys to go check it out. So, all right, thanks so much and have a great RV journey.